How's it going friends? Jacob here, and today we're doing What's in My Camera Bag 2021. All right, let's just dig into it with first my bag that I use. So I use a Canon, I don't even know what this is called. It's a Canon camera bag, which is interesting because I don't even actually shoot on Canon. I actually got this as a gift. Um, so it's, it's a little confusing, but let's just roll with it. So as we open this bad boy up, we enter into my main camera setup and I feel like I don't really understand how most people do these what's in my camera bag videos because for example, this T-shaped spot right here looks a lot like a camera. That's normally where my main camera would go, but currently my main camera is recording my main angle and my secondary camera is recording my top down angle. So both of my cameras are currently being used, but what I typically put right here is I use a Panasonic GH4 with a Lumix 12 to 35 lens as my main everyday shooter. That's like what I'm carrying around every day. That's what's shooting this right now. That's my main shooter. My secondary camera, which is currently this top shot, is a Panasonic GH3, and currently I have just a 20 millimeter Lumix lens on it. I also have as we move up in the camera bag, I've got a Panasonic 35 to 100. So this is my other lens that I carry with me on a daily basis. With these two lenses, 12 to 100 focal length, I feel like I've got everything I need. And this camera is also a micro four thirds sensor. So it's really more like a 24 to 200. That's the focal range I have with just those two lenses. And, and it serves me well. I've also got, like I said, a, a 20 millimeter lens, which I'm using for this wide angle right now. And so that's super convenient, but I don't typically carry that with me on a daily basis just because I, I don't have a lot of use for it because I've got the 24 millimeter focal length on my main 12 to 35. So those are the two lenses I am carrying and using on a daily basis. My GH4 here, my GH3 is my B camera, GH4 is my A camera. So those are my two cameras and the three lenses I'm using on a daily basis. And we're moving up to the next pouch in the camera bag, which typically houses my Rode VideoMic Pro. I'm recording with it right now, but typically I'll have my Rode VideoMic Pro in this pouch. Currently though, I just have a, have a dead cat here. So on the left side of the bag here, I've got my Razer Viper mouse. This is what I typically use with my laptop when I'm editing, when I'm doing some work. So I've got that. These are all just like the bits and bobs that everybody loves. I've got a USB-C to SD card reader that I always carry with me just to do editing on my laptop and then just an iPhone, you know, dongle. Who cares? Pretty sure I broke something. And then under everything, I've got my main laptop that I use for editing. I've got a desktop at work, but this is anytime I'm home, anytime I'm not at work, this is the laptop I'm using. It's a Razer Blade 15. Uh, I'm not sure where I land on, on Mac versus Windows. I actually really enjoy both platforms. Right now I'm using a Windows just because it's the laptop I have and it's a gaming laptop, so it's a beast for video editing. So I've got a little black skin on that. I've got a uh, skin on the inside, so it's just nice and protected. It's a beautiful laptop for gaming. I've been really happy with it so far, and take with that what you will. All right, moving on to the top section of the bag. Up here in the top, I've got a Pelican SD card reader. In here, I just carry my SD cards. Several of them are in my cameras right now, but that's pretty simple. In this next pouch, I've just got some spare camera batteries. I always carry, I typically carry three extra batteries in one of my cameras. So I'm carrying four batteries. I've never used all four batteries, so I don't know why I carry so many, but it's always nice to have extra batteries. You don't wanna run out of batteries, right? Am I crazy? Over here on the side here, we've got a Joby Gorillapod. I don't know if this needs any explanation. It is just by far the most convenient tripod to carry around. I can use it as a tripod. I can, I can vlog with this. I can set it up anywhere I need to set it up. It's so small, it's compact. You know, I don't think I need to explain the, the Gorilla Pod to you. All right, and we're setting this off to the side. In the next pouch, we've got just a couple things. So if we open that up in this pouch here, I've got a variable ND filter. Um, this is 
just a cheap one I found on Amazon. I'll put the link, everything in this video, the link will be down in the description. So if you wanna check any of it out, I highly recommend everything I'm carrying, I'm carrying because I love and I've gotten a lot of value out of it. So anything that I'm carrying right now, I would highly recommend. And I'll put the link to everything, including this variable ND filter down in the description. Also in this pouch, I've got two Word notebooks. I absolutely love these Word notebooks. I use them for everything. I've got one, this one here I'm using for video ideas. And then this one here I use for work and I use for um, to-do lists. Like I, there's, there's literally infinite things you can do with these Word notebooks. And I feel like I've gotten so much value out of them. They're like 10, $10 for three of them on Amazon. Like they're so cheap and they're easy to carry around. I love these things. And then in the last pouch, I always carry a pocket knife. Typically I'll have a pocket knife in my pocket. Actually always I'll have a pocket knife in my pocket. But right now I've got my Benchmade bailout in this top pouch of the camera bag. I'm a huge Benchmade fan. I think they make really high quality products and I'm in Oregon and Benchmade started in Oregon. So it's kind of like a like a hometown pride thing. And that's about it for what I carry with me on a daily basis in my camera bag. I've got a lot more gear than this that I use for shoots and stuff, but you know, this setup has served me really well. It's not the most fancy equipment, like the GH4 and the GH3, they're, you know, several generations old and they're older cameras, but I have gotten so much value out of them. I've done commercial TV shoots on here. I've done vlogs, I've done, you know, work for my church. I've done a huge variety of things on these two cameras. And people say gear doesn't matter. And I think gear does matter to a point. You have to have gear to make videos, in my opinion. Most of you have the gear you need just on your iPhone, but you need to have a camera. You need to have a lens, you need to have a microphone, you need to have lighting, you need to have, you know, a drone if you wanna get drone shots. Like there is certain gear that you have to have to make content, but to a certain point, I think there's a point of diminishing return when it comes to gear. For example, I've got a GH4. It's a great DSLR, it served me well. I would love a Canon R5. I would love to upgrade to a cinema camera, a, a Blackmagic Ursa Mini Pro. I've got one of those that I use for work. And I would love more gear. I'd love fancier gear, more expensive gear with more features. And that would be good to a point, but also I've been very happy with making what I need to make on the gear that I have. And I can continue to make, and there's there's an infinite possibility of things I can make with no more gear. So I think gear does matter, but also gear doesn't matter. It's kind of confusing. So I hope this serves as a little bit of an encouragement to everybody that, you know, you need to have gear to make videos, but also you've got everything you need right now in your pocket, probably. If you're lucky enough to live in America or most places in the world, you've got a cell phone. You've got a cell phone with an amazing camera. You can go out there and you can make videos. So all this gear, I wanna encourage you, like, yeah, you can get to this point. I've, I've worked and I've slowly developed this collection, but you can go out there and you can just make videos of what you have. Thank you so much for watching the video and I wanna ask two things of you. If you're enjoying my content and you like my channel, would you please consider subscribing to the channel? It really helps me out. You can subscribe and hit that bell icon so you get notified when I make videos. And the second thing you can do is like this video. If you enjoyed the video, it really helps out the YouTube algorithm to get my channel out there, to build my channel, build my audience. It's super helpful. So if you like the video, please subscribe and please like the video.